Hey buddies, Ember here. So, as you can see from the title, I have been doing some research on the effects of the spirits in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. What do you mean I have to make a proper introduction? <sighs> Fine, I guess I'll do it. Ever since Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was released about a year ago, us players had the chance to have fun with the wonky mechanics of spirits, from killing the enemy at 0%, to taking no damage, to becoming an absolute dick with Donkey Kong's throws. But the game isn't really explicit with how spirits work. Slightly increases damage, greatly increases defense, and by how much exactly? Well, no more, since I... Sorry, I can't do this stupid thing. It makes me look like a hero while in reality I'm just a dumbass with too much time on his hands. So let's get straight to the point. I got the formula to calculate the output of damage dealt and damage taken based on the spirit stats from the wiki. As you can see, the damage taken multiplier is outright stronger than the damage dealt. So defense is stronger than attack. However, the higher numbers we go up, the less effective the defense is whereas the damage dealt multiplier increases at a constant rate. But this is just me reading the wiki, so let's dive into what I discovered. So this is a pretty good start. We now know how to calculate the damage dealt based on spirits, but as you probably know, there is a certain mechanic in the game called the spirit type advantage. Primary spirits, which are the ones that actually have stats, are divided in four types. Attack type, defense type, grab type and neutral type. Or as I call them, red, blue, green and colorless. It's much easier this way from me. I then started looking for two spirits that would interact neutrally. Because as you can see, the formulas for attack and defense are quite different. And so finding two spirits that interact in perfect neutrality was quite the challenge. First, I had to make sure that those two primary spirits that we would be using for our tests were either of the same color or one of them had to be colorless and the other one any color really. So that the spirit advantage wouldn't disrupt anything in our calculations. Then I had to calculate their stats because I had to make sure that the attacker's damage dealt multiplier would be perfectly balanced with the defending spirit's multiplier of damage taken, so that the output would be perfectly neutral. Well, since you're watching this video, you know that I succeeded! Ma Kiwi as the attacking spirit and Almond Celica Young as the defending spirit. The Makiwi's attack stat and Almond Celica's defense stats are perfectly balanced, as all things should be, resulting in no change to the actual damage. As you can see, this is without spirits, and this is with Mokiwi hitting Almond Celica. As you can see, there is no change in damage. And yes, it's not actually a random thing. I actually put these numbers into a calculator and the multiplier that comes out is exactly times one. So there is no change in the actual damage output. Except that now we have spirit slots to work with in a perfectly neutral environment. With these, we can test the exact effect of support spirits on damage increase and damage reduction. I've been doing a Google document on which I wrote down all of my findings on spirits effects. For example, trade-off attacks increases damage dealt by 23% at the cost of making you start at 30% damage. Weapon attack up increases damage dealt by swords, whips and such by 10% on any attack that involves them. Or for example, an effect that I find myself using often, Armor Knight decreases damage taken by 45%. Wow, that's a lot of reduction. I'm also studying the effects of spirit styles as a bonus. It's coming out pretty good. The research is still ongoing, but you guys can help too. You can find my Google document in the description or in the pinned comment. Also, since some of you guys lamented the fact that contacting me is quite difficult, I've just opened a Discord server for you guys to join. You can find the invite link down below, next to the Google document. Well, this is pretty much everything that I had to tell you. I feel like knowing the actual effects of spirits will help out people that want to build amiibos like my lawn mower or the much more famous Alpharad's Hard Decay. 
so that you can decide in advance how much you want to invest in attack and defense while knowing the exact outcome of your choices. Pretty neat, right? Thanks for watching!